Hello friends, this is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the third point, a reference to a instance method of a arbitrary object of a particular type in lambda expressions. So let's go ahead and try to understand this point using an example. So here is the eclipse. I am going to create a project with name reference to instance method in lambda. And this is the project. And here I am going to create a class is called com dot infotech dot model and class name I'm going to specify person and person is just a model class and this will have property like int sorry private string name private string age sorry make it in int is okay I'm going to create a constructor using these two fields so go to the source and here you have an option is called generate constructor using fields now I want to create a getters for these two fields so here you have option select getters so you get the greater method of these two property so this is a very simple model class now let's create a client program package com dot info take dot client and this class name i'm going to specify one minute uh, client class i'm going to specify like this only and package Let's create a class com, package name com dot info take dot client and class name I'm going to specify a reference to instance method in lambda which will have a main method and here I'm going to create a list of person. I say portions and I'm going to create a object of array list. Press Ctrl Shift O for organize import. And now this portions list I'm going to add few person object. Name bin is is 27 similarly I'm gonna add few more persons object like Sean 21 Martin sorry Forty-five, and we have a Frank, which is twenty-seven again. Now, I'm going to create a method, a static method, uh, I would say list get person's name. And this method is going to return me a list of this is going to return me a list of name name field is a, a string just a string so this is going to return me person names Okay. and here 
I'm going to pass parameter. I want to extract name from this list. So first parameter I would pass persons and second parameter I'm going to pass a person dot get name. And here you will have to give double color. And let's create this method. And here instead of object, we are passing a function, which is again a functional interface. And first object, if you go to the functional interface, it's a functional interface which accepts one input parameter and returns the result after processing. So represents a function that accepts one argument and produces a result. So that's all about the function interface. So here I want this function intercept should accept person object and returns a string that is nothing but a name and give the argument name as f. Now let's create a, a one list over here and as, uh, initialize with array list array list let's say result now you need to iterate this persons which is coming from the client using for each loop and here you can say n lambda expressions and here we'll add a result in, in uh, a result list you can say results because we are adding more than one person name now here what i'll do we have a function right so function dot apply method we have and here you can pass n name itself and finally this result will have to return to the caller and if I try to print this person names you can make use of the for each loop again system dot out double colon print then and if I try to run this project then we got the list of names so here point is that this mean provide this means providing reference to any of the person's object in the list of a particular type which is the person here so so the containing type is persons and the method name is get name so if you, if you have a some list of things or collection of things and if you want to extract some particular properties and you put into the another list then this is the one of the way to achieve this so that's the point all about the third a reference to an instance method of a arbitrary object of a particular time so i hope you got it through this example and thanks for watching this video and next video tutorial i'm going to uh, consider last point in this slide so please be with me over there and see you in the next video tutorial